Hi, I'm Mike Auerbach, Editor-in-Chief of Pharmaceutical Processing Magazine, here at Interfex 2012 in the Facility of the Year Award booth, and I'm talking with Urs Ernie uh, from Roche about their uh, TP Expand pro project, which won the category uh, for Operational Excellence in the annual Facility of the Year Award program. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about your facility and uh, what you're doing there and the, the, the uh, products you're, you're working on? Well, the site what we have is a uh, biological site. We have research development and production all on that site. And our project that was actually a capacity increase or doubling of the capacity increase of uh, research and development. So that was the, um, the topic of the, of the project. Now, we're at Nerfex, where arguably uh, the world's best equipment vendors are showing their products. Now, how important to your facility was the input and expertise of equipment vendors? Well, it was very high because uh, one of our projects was this uh, DAMAS Data Acquisition Management and Analysis System, which we have uh, connected all the equipment to a network and uh, to a uh, IT automation system where we collect all the databases, all the samples, everything from um, the devices and from the um, equipment. And that was important that we get the right uh, connections and get the right information so that our IT engineers could do the, uh, the job and link together everything and have it uh, as a um, system what we have planned for. Now, looking back uh, at the project and the process to, you know, to get this facility up and running, is there any uh, one aspect that you're most proud of? Oh, there are many, many, because this project was very challenging. And uh, we have actually, the project is five sub-projects and this overall automation IT project. And each of these projects has its very top big chan uh, um it's called uh, a uh, challenge, you know. And for instance, uh, one building we had to replace the complete infrastructure, but we could not shut down the building because it had to, con to continue. Mm -hmm. So that was a one year work where we have changed all the process utilities, all the, the uh, other utilities, HVAC and so on, but without shut down the building. So that was a challenge. And another challenge was in a GMP building, we just got a three-month window where we had to do 75% of the work in that three months, um, including re-validation and everything uh, because we, we just got that window. And the third one was we had a empty manufacturing building, which is usually very high, and we built in a uh, laboratory, open space laboratory, and then also the challenge was how to use this huge space and make the best for a laboratory because normally you don't need that ceiling height for laboratories and so also there there were special um, solutions what we did with intermediate um, galleries and with uh, um, cat maintenance catwalks what we then used the space so these were on each of these sub project was one of the um, challenge yeah that's right now finally what what do you think really caught the judge's eye toward you, the, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the award? Well, I guess it's the total, it's the, the complete um, project what we did. I mean, the, the ideal project for us would be have a new building on the grassroots where we ideally could plan everything, mm -hmm. but that was way too um, expensive. So we had to look for all the solutions and we came down and we used existing space we used the reorganization, we used everything, and uh, that was the challenge of all these sub-projects uh, to get the target to double the capacity of research development with existing equipment, with existing building and infrastructure. And then overall this data acquisition management system, which is uh, completely validated, I mean it's also for GMP, and all these things I think may be the total that gave the, uh, the decision. Well, thank you for your time today, and best of luck in the overall competition.